Today we're going to learn how to use the foil quill pens with the Cricut Maker. Um, the first thing we want to do is upload a single line design and um, we have a lot of really awesome single line designs now in the foil quill section on So Fancy. We are memory keepers and American Crafts who just opened up their design shop and the link is in our tutorial and below the video as well on YouTube. Um, and you can see that uh, this design here that I'm using is from the We Are Memory Keep Keepers Foil Quill Designs, Quotes, and Sayings. I believe that's the name, but <laughs> I'll clarify that in the um, links below. Um, so uh, today what we're going to create are some thank you cards that you can insert with your products that you're selling on Etsy or maybe just when you're packaging up stuff for eBay or any of the other shops um, where you might need to say thank you to your clients or customers. Uh, these are really cute that I've designed using this single line design and also watercolor paper. So um, this involves a little bit of painting as well. So right now we're just focusing on the design space part to get you set up to actually use the foil quill. Okay, so two things we need. I need a background to cut around this design because this design, when you import it or upload it, comes in as a cut file. I do not want all of these lines cut out. I want to change this to draw. And when you change it to draw, you can see that it's just a very, very uh, thin line. And all of these lines are where the foil quill will touch your material and will leave uh, the heat transferred foil on that material. So what I wanna do is change the height, make sure this is locked first of all, and change the height to two and a quarter inches because I'm making small little cards that are only about three inches in height. Uh, I already know that the, uh, the paper that I'm using on my mat has already been mounted and it is approximately uh, four inches high by about nine inches long. So I'm going to show you how to set this up so it will actually uh, tr use the foil quill and then cut it out on uh, this exact size that you're using on your mat. So make sure you know what size the material is before you set this up. Mine, like I said, is a piece of watercolor heavy card stock that is approximately three inches by nine inches. So um, I want this to be used or um, drawn basically by the foil quill pen and then I also need a shape so I'm going to select the square um, I'm going to unlock it and change the size of the square I want the square to be um, I think let's see 2.25 inches I think no 2.2 inches wide by two and a half inches high okay uh, that's the background. This is just going to cut out the rectangle. This is not going to draw anything. You can lock that and let's kind of put it right here where our design is, but I'm going to collapse this men these two menus and I'm going to switch their spots. Okay. Cause I want the square underneath Then I'm going to change the square to like pink um, or I can change it to red, I guess. And then the foil quill is going to be silver. So I'm going to make it um, let's see, let's just do something brighter like this mint so you can see it. Okay, so now select the colors that you choose here do not make any difference. The foil quill that's on your sheet is what is going to come up as the color. Obviously the background too, but I do have some red in my watercolor and I'm using silver foil. Okay, so now select both of these, go to a line and click on center. That will take the design, the foil quill design, and put it in the center of this rectangle that's going to cut around it. Um, obviously, you can make this as large or as small as you'd like. Just keep in mind that the foil quill comes in different size sheets, so make sure that the sheet fits over your project with about a half an inch uh, border around the perimeter. Okay, so now select these two together, and now we're going to click Attach. Okay, so that means that when this goes to the mat to make it, it is going to stay exactly as it is shown. It's not going to separate these two on a different onto different mats, etc. Because um, we're not going to be switching 
out the mat or unloading or reloading it. It's going to draw and it's going to go back around and cut it. Okay, so now that I have one of these, I kind of want to line this up so we're at about one and a quarter. This is where it fits on my mat nicely. Okay, then I'm going to um, click duplicate because I want, I think three of these will fit in my space. So I'm just going to, I'm going to line the bottom here up on the four inch line. I'm going to duplicate this again. And okay, so that gives me, um, yep, it all fits like in between this eight inch space that's about less than three inches tall. Okay, so now select all three of these. They do not have to be perfectly spaced in between. I just did it by eye, but if you wanted to, you could do a line and distribute horizontally and that will make the space in between them exactly equal. This is good for saving paper and not wasting your supplies. Okay, so now all three of these are attached to each other, but I want them to all be attached together. So select all three of those groups, one, two, three, and then click attach again. Uh, this may take a moment or two with your machine, but once they're all attached, they will go to the mat exactly as you see them here. You do not want to click um, weld or flatten. We're only using the attach tool today. Okay, so now you want to click on make it. This is going to send it to the mat. Okay. Now that we have it here on the uh, mat, I'm going to just grab this and move it. Okay, the reason for this is that the space here, um, right to the edges, I am not going to have my material because I need the foil quill to overhang it a little bit. And I have lined it up on the one inch line here. Um, so my material kind of fits into the space and this fits nicely right over it as long as it is not in the first um, line of the axis on the X or the Y. Okay, so here we go. Right here looks good. Um, actually, I could put it right on the four inch and then click continue. Now, um, you, when you're using the foil quill, there is not a choice of foil quill pen in the material, the tools list. Um, and I'll get to that in just a moment. For right now, I want to check or you set my base material, which is watercolor paper, um, which is 140 pounds. And then here you will see that I have, um, it's asking me to load the mint pen and clamp A. Actually, what you'll do here is exactly what I've shown in the um, tutorial on the website, is that you're going to load the foil quill pen. I'm using the standard tip to do these designs, you're going to load that in with the adapter C, which is for the Cricut. Um, and you put those into the machine and then make sure B still has your, mine has the blade in it. I'm using the fine point blade with watercolor paper um, and use default pressure. And then go ahead and click on continue. And I will show you what it looks like as it goes through the machine and the reveal.